Ready? Guys, the first one is that right. Welcome back, Bro Addicts, to another episode this week, guys. Today we're doing something different for you guys. We're just here out fishing. We're gonna be showing how to catch pompados for beginners. A lot of you guys maybe get into surf fishing for pompados this time of year. The pompados do get hot. The bite gets hot everywhere you go, from all the way from Alabama to Navarre to Destin, Pensacola, and down south. So guys, if you're a beginner, this video will definitely help you guys out. I'm here with the owner of Risky Spin, Pompano Rigs. Guys, if you haven't looked it up, amazing Pompano Rigs. We'll be showing you guys how to catch these bad boys because I love to eat them, especially on the grill. And what makes it better than going out with your friends, going out with your family, and just catching these bad boys. So enough talking, guys. Let's get in the video. But before that, guys, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Me and Frisky Fins, we're gonna get to the video and break down these tips that will help you guys catch more pompanos for beginners and you guys experience that. All right, Radix, we're gonna get into the first part, how to fish for pompanos. First thing you guys need is pompano rigs, guys. Friskyfins.com has them, the big ones, long ones, and the small ones. So we have the owner of Frisky Fins. He can explain to you guys why we use Pompano Rigs for Pompano. Hey guys, my name is James Pemberton. I am the owner of Frisky Fins. We're a small company. We make Pompano Rigs, t-shirts, uh, basically anything that you need, we can take care of when it comes to saltwater fishing. Getting into Pompano for beginners, Pompano Rigs are very essential. You get a double drop rig. The top float is going to be your more buoyancy going to keep it up off the bottom a little bit better. You're going to stay away from crab, whiting, pinfish, etc. The bottom float is a little smaller. Pompano do run off the bottom as well. Just gives you, again, keeping it off the bottom a little bit. We do the size 2 circle hooks. Circle hooks are very easy to use, especially for beginners. You don't have to set it. Basically, you just let it, the hook, you basically just let the fish hook itself. We use a very small swivel and a very small weight snap. If you want to have a minimal presentation as possible, we use a 20 pound leader. Again, Pompano are kind of sight feeders. We don't want to use a big, heavy 30, 40 pound mono leader. We could actually probably get away with a little lighter, but 20 seems to be the right, the right size for us. We do a small version, we do a long version. If you want to have a little bit higher in the water column, we can do a longer version. If you want a little shorter one, keep it a little lower, maybe fish in shallower water, we can do that as well. We do multiple colors. Your bright orange is going to be for your dirty water. Your chartreuse is going to be more for murky, kind of clear water. And then the white and pink is definitely going to be your blue and light water. Pensacola, most, mostly over there in Florida, has that, that real clear water. Give us a look at friskyfins.com. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Shoot me a message. I can get you hooked up with anything you need. Guys, now that you guys explain to you step one on how to fish for confidence for the beginners, we're gonna get into the next setup, which is the rods and poles you need to have for surface fishing for pompadours. All right, we're addicts. We're going to step two right now. What baits and rods you need to cast these pompadours, guys. You can use shrimp. You cut them up in small little pieces. Look at the shrimp right there. You can use sand fleas, guys. They're all over the surf. You get a rake. I'm gonna be doing a video on that, guys. The next episode, how to cast these bad boys. You want to add more scent to it. Remember guys, pompanos are attracted to scent. You can use these fish bites, shrimp, or sand flea flavor. Cut up little pieces, tip. These pompano rigs with them, put a sand flea in there, put a shrimp, cast it out. Sometimes you don't have to cast it out far. What I do, and I've had the successes, have two rods way out and two rods, two rods a little closer. So, Frisky Fins is explained to you guys, why we use these surf rods for these fish from 12 feet to 10 feet. So, this is gonna be an 11 foot rod. I prefer 11 foot. Again, 10 to 12 foot is gonna be where, where you're gonna to wanna to be. Sometimes over on the East Coast, you get a little bit bigger as well. The main thing with the long rods is casting distance. You need 
to be able to cast to the bar, over the bar, depending on where you are. With a good surf rod like this, you can cast 80, 100, 120 yards with a three to four ounce weight. I don't really ever go over four ounces just because at that point, you're probably in a position where you don't need to be fishing. High quality guys is a really good thing as well, especially when you're fishing braid, you don't want to have grooves in your guides. Some of the metal guides and the lower quality guys are going to give you a real bad braid. Uh, basically, it's going to chafe your braid and you're going to break off. Reels, I'm using anything from a 4500 to a 6500. You want to be able to load that thing down with 20 pound braid. This has 300 yards of power pro, super slick, a little bit of mono bagging. I prefer the bigger handles, that's why I go with a little bit bigger reel. If you're reeling in 100 yards with that little handle, little reel, it's a real pain. I make custom rods, that's another thing that we do through Frisky Fins. We can go as crazy as gold leaf inlay. We can make it as simple as you want it. We can put little decals. Anything you need, we can take care of for you. Guys, if that is not information for you guys, I don't know what is. Remember guys, you want to have a light setup because pompanos are not like any other fish. They give you that tip, that little jerk in the tip of the rod. So you want, might want to feed it like these rods. That's why we use them. And now we're going to get into the next step and how to surf for pompanos for beginners. So we showed you guys the bait that we use. Fish bites, shrimp, sampley, the rods that we use, the reels, the type of mono we use, 20 pounds, and the frisky fins pompano rig so now we're gonna get into the step where we read the waters all right radix we're going into the ne next step which is reading the water this is something i do before surf fishing for either pompano red drum black drum any other type of fish in the surf is reading the water guys looking for those flat barges throwing in between them either before or after the barges. Why, guys? There's channels that fish run by those channels, guys. For example, Pompano, like I said, red drum, black drum. So you guys want to throw either, like you see example here, guys, there's a flat barge right here. You can, sometimes you can throw right next to it with a beef barge or over it. Get in there, tossing your bait, making sure when you're throwing it out, having your line a little bit tight so when you that fish bites, and he takes it, you're feeling the bite. So if your line is loose, guys, make sure you tighten it. Definitely helps out. And we're gonna show you an example right now where the areas are. We got Christy Fringe, he's gonna throw out his rod, he's pop the rig, and show you guys the example where I'm talking about. So let's get into that. Erratic. so you're wondering why he threw it to that position it's because there's a flat barge right here sand bar that's right there so what he did was throw over it meaning there's a channel there fish are running by there pompons are running by there giving you a bigger chance to catch those pompons you're looking for making sure your line is tight you're real set and remember guys Never have your wheel set tight, loosen it up a little bit, so when you take the bite, you still have some slack, and you don't get popped off or you don't lose that fish. So, guys, we'll get into the last step, and after that, we'll break it down, everything little by little that we did. All right, we're at it. Now we're getting into the last step, guys. This is something that's very important to me, and I'll tell you guys why. I. A few months ago, I lost one of my best rods and reels. Didn't follow this step, having one of these and this. Yes, I walked off for one second. Next thing you know, my rod was gone. It's a learning experience for me. This is why I'm sharing this information with you guys. Making sure you have a good sand spike and hammer it down. Don't just put it down with your hand. Make sure you have one of these. You get these at Walmart for $5. Making sure it's dug in there. So when you get that big hit, that shark, that pompano, any hit, fish you're looking for you make sure your rod is not being thrown in the water guys also you guys are looking at to get a beach cart they have these at academy at walmart for all type of prices guys make sure you're looking at this step so now that i've shown you guys something that's very important that spike hammer beach cart we're going to review everything we went through right now 
and hope this information helps you out. So let's review now and then we'll get out of here. All right, we're addicts. We're reviewing now. Before you guys get out there, you guys heard what everything I had to say, but we're gonna say it one more time. You're going out there popping the fishing for the first time. You can use dead shrimp, sand fleas, even fish bites, but making sure you have a nice pompano rig. And you guys, as you can tell, Frisky Fins explained to you guys why the colors. Go to friskyfins.com, check them out. Make sure you get your sand spikes, get them at Walmart for five dollars, any bait store. 11, 10 foot, 12 foot rods, just like these custom made frisky fins. Light setup, 4,500. You don't need big reels for these fish, guys. They're very, they're very different from other fish. They get that bite, bite, and they hit. You, after you catch your first one, you guys will realize the differences on these fish. So, hammer, sand spike, part, rod, pump on the rig, reading the water. Those are the things that we explained to you in this video, and I hope this video guys helped you guys out. We're at it. If this video helped you guys out, hit the like button, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Get out there, go fishing, guys.